Now that it's snow season, I want to go over how I price snow clearing for residential properties. The snow clearing for residential is actually really simple. All you need is a shovel, salt spreader, de-icer, maybe some salt, and you're good to go. But I want to go over some prices with you because that's where you may get caught up on is how to price. So I'll show you how I do it. It's really simple. I just have an easy, medium, and hard way of looking at it. But before you do that, uh, if you're by yourself or have got one other helper that you're trying to keep busy, I've charged $120 per push, and that worked great for three of us. But now I have nine snow pushers, and that just doesn't work anymore. It's just not scalable. I've got a lot of customers that are saying that's too much. So I've had to change it up, and that's why I have the easy, medium, and hard pricing model, and it works great. I can look at it on my computer, so now I don't even need to go out and look at the properties anymore. I just pull it up on Street View, and I can determine right then and there if it's easy, medium, or hard. And I come up with this pricing, and it, it keeps us all busy. And now there's nine of us, so we have a great mix of residentials and commercials, but I want to show you these properties in person so I can give you a little more detail. So let's go. This one I consider easy because it's just got one car driveway and it's got a really small walkway to the house. So this one I would call easy. Here we have a medium house and this one is medium because it not only has the one car garage, but there's also extra drive area. Plus the walkway is just a little bit bigger, but not too bad. More importantly, it's the driveway. This one I would consider hard because it's a two plus car garage that, and it's just a big area. You can see that with one shovel, this would take a while to do. And this one, when you're first measuring it, it looks like it's a small driveway. It's only got one car garage, but you have to factor how steep this driveway is. So because of that, We've done this for years and we know that it's very difficult to do. So this one, as small as it is, actually have to price it difficult because of how many times people have fallen doing this one. So it's got me understanding when I look at a property now, if there's a steep slope going up or down, that plays a factor in the difficulty level. Okay, now that you've gone out and looked at the properties with me, I want to go over how you can charge. Now for an easy property, I charge $50. For a medium property, I charge $79. For a hard property, I charge $120. Now for all of these properties, um, there are many ways that you can charge that base price. You can charge it after you push. So you go to the property, you shovel the sidewalk and driveway, and you charge them 50 bucks, 79 bucks, or 120 bucks. That's one way of doing it. The problem with that is that it's not scalable. You can't plan for that money. Because first of all, you don't know when it's gonna storm, or when it does storm, you kind of already need that money because May didn't storm two weeks in a row. So it's just hard to scale that money when you charge it after each storm for residential. Now, the ways that I've done it in the past were to help me out with cash flow was I would charge for a 10 pack. So if somebody, if it was a $50 push, I charged them for 10 pushes. And that was the only way they would get on my route if they gave me $500, but that gave them 10 pushes. Now, the problem with the 10 packs is what I used to call them was that sometimes customers would call ahead and say, hey, don't come out next week because I've got my neighbor doing it. So hold that push. Or sometimes you'd go out and, and, and shovel on a storm and then the customer would say something like, well, I didn't think it really needed it, so can I still have that push and not use it up? And so sometimes at the end of the season, even though it stormed maybe 15 times and they only paid for a 10 pack, you'd still owe them. So even though I loved the 10 pack because it was nice, because let's say you're on storm number eight, you send out an email and say, hey, you're on the eighth push, you've only got two left and there's still a month left in winter time, you may need to get another 10 pack if you want me to keep going and then people would do that. So on a, so, so that was cool because I'd get another $500 or $799 or $1,200 um, again towards the end of the season and, and that way worked out really well. Uh, but again, you'll get some customers that may want credit or refund back because of that so I decided no more 10 packs so what I do now is I pay 
I charge people for all winter. So on a $50 driveway, I charge them for 12 pushes because over the years, that's about how many storms you actually get in this area, 10 to 12. So I do 12 and I tell them that there's no refund. This covers you all winter. So if it only storms one time, you don't get a refund. If it storms 20 times, I'll go out and push all 20 times. So you'll be on the hook for that. But that way works best for me because that way I'm not on the hook to give them a refund. They don't call me and ask me to hold off on a push. They just expect it to be done. And again, there's usually only like 10 to 12 storms a year. So I've never had a problem once I started doing that. The only thing that I do though is I tell them that they have to sign up before December 1st for this price. Now I raise my prices on that 25% after December 1st. And, and I don't do that for any other reason other than to train my customers and the people that are looking at the website so that next year they don't wait. They just sign up when I need them to because at the beginning of the, of the snow season, I need to know how many snow pushes I'm gonna need. And based on how many jobs I get before December 1st, that's how many workers that I commit to and commit to me during that time and then I make sure they have plows, the trucks, the shovels, the snow blowers, everything they need. And and so I've had customers call me about, you know, like December 10th asking if they can get that uh, same price that was on the website or in my email before December 1st. And I, I tell them, no, I'm sorry, I cannot do that because I've already got my routes set in order. And I think you should do that. I think you need to be tell your customers that this is the price and you need to know we need to know by this deadline so that you can plan accordingly. And so next year, I'm gonna have, a, I know that there'll be 10 more customers that are gonna sign up right when we tell them to because they don't wanna miss out like they did this year. I feel a little bad, but we are really full and we worked really hard on getting these routes ready. And you know how it is to try to get everybody out when it snows in the morning. So anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Let me know what you want to know for snow. I want to get these out to you, and I'll see you on the next one.